Hello everyone, my name is Valery Anisimovsky and I'm going to present the work of our group, which also includes my colleagues Andrei, Andrei Sherbinin, Sergei Turko and Ilya Kurilin. The work is called Unsupervised Monocular Depth Estimation CNN – Robust to Training Data Diversity and it has been done at Samsung R&D Institute Russia. First of all, what was our motivation when taking deep learning based approach? There are several kinds of popular depth sensor hardware used for obtaining depth, ma depth maps – infrared time-of-flight sensors, LIDARs and stereo cameras. Infrared time-of-flight sensors provide instantaneous depth map, but their output is noisy and typically short-ranged. LIDAR's output is long-ranged and typically has good accuracy, but it's sparse and non-instantaneous, while LIDARs themselves are typically quite ex expensive. Finally, stereo cameras may be used to obtain dense and instantaneous depth maps, but such depth maps are unreliable in many areas, for example in occlusions and noisy areas. And long-range depth estimation requires long baseline of stereo rig. So our solution is to use monocular depth convolutional ne neural network trained in unsupervised way to predict dense depth map, given a single image. Such a solution has advantages of producing dense and instantaneous depth map using cheap con a monocular camera, but it is also adaptable to various scenery by training on a relevant dataset, while training data collection is relatively easy. However, the typical downside of the approach is high computational overhead of inferencing using large CNN. Let us briefly review main existing approaches to monocular depth estimation using deep learning. The most popular approach is, of course, a supervised training of CNN model uh, on dataset containing monocular input images and ground truth depth maps. Such approach allows to achieve the best depth estimation accuracy, but it requires hard to get precise ground truth depth maps, which are collected using the aforem aforementioned depth sensors. Such training datasets are either very costly to collect or lack depth map quality which often restricts the variability of training dataset, thereby making the trained model quite scene-dependent. Another approach is unsupervised CNN trained on video sequence. In this approach, CNN model is trained on video sequence using camera pose prediction along with depth estimation. For example, of such method is given in the scheme. The strong point of such approach is that it leverages readily available and abundant video sequence data for training. However, the depth estimation accuracy achieved by this approach uh, is typically inferior and also it requires camera intrinsics for training which are not always readily available. Finally, the approach which we use as a baseline is unsupervised CNN trained on stereo pairs. In this approach, CNN model is trained on stereo pairs with laws based on opposite image reconstruction and left-right consistency. This approach provides good depth estimation accuracy as compared to unsupervised CNN trained on video sequence, but it lacks robustness to training on hybrid datasets containing data from different stereo rigs. The reason of the lack of robustness is that the CNN processes the left view and outputs two disparate maps for constructing left and right views. Uh, such a setting assumes that the baseline distance between the cameras is the same for all stereo pairs. Indeed, given the left view image for different baseline distances, disparity values needed to reconstruct the right view from the left one would be different. Longer baseline distance implies larger disparity values. So we argue that in general setting, uh, where the baseline distance for training stereo pairs is variable, the left view image alone is insufficient for predicting both disparity maps. What we propose is to improve the unsupervised CNN trained on stereo pairs by adding camera parameters estimation. This allows us to achieve state-of-the-art depth estimation accuracy among unsupervised monocular methods, while retaining easy adaptivity of the method to any scene category by routine training data collection. Our method is capable of successful training on the data collected by different stereo rigs due to its robustness to training data diversity via camera parameters estimation. So, here is the diagram of our proposed model. First, input model input stereo pair images are separately processed by the Siamese depth estimation CNN to produce inverse depth maps 
high-level feature maps and correction maps, which are added to input images. We motivate the introduction of correction maps by the observation that in the unsupervised molecular depth estimation approaches training on stereo pairs, the self-supervision by opposite view reconstruction, while being highly efficient in learning reasonable depth map at earlier training stages, at later stages becomes to some extent counterproductive when trying to find geometric explanation for differences in left-right views of a stereo pair actually arising from non-geometric reasons. For example, camera sensor noises, occlusions, reflection from non-Lambertian surfaces. Due to such reasons, there might be pixels in the left and right views for which there is actually no matching counterpart in the same scanline of the opposite view. However, the reconstruction laws drive the model to seek matchings even for such unmatched pixels, thereby introducing false disparities and respectively incorrect depths. Instead of trying to smooth uh, the noises and in disparities or, or inverse map depths arising from inconsistent pixel matchings by using disparity smoothness laws like the baseline model did, we address the problem by introducing input image correction maps aimed at making matchings by disparities in the corrected images as much cons consistent as possible. Second, High-level feature maps for both left and right images were processed by camera parameters estimation CNN to produce stereo camera par parameters, gain and bias, which are used to transform inverse depth maps to primary disparity maps using affine transform. Then the primary disparity maps along with the corrected input images are used for reconstructing counterpart images as well as counterpart secondary disparity maps using bilinear sampling. Also, the secondary disparity maps are further used to reconstruct auxiliary images. Finally, the reconstructed images and disparity maps are used to construct several loss terms used to train the model. First, the primary reconstruction term, which is borrowed from, the, uh, from our baseline model and is just an L1 difference between the reconstructed left and right images and their the respective corrected versions. Second, our novel correction regularization term, which constrains the image correction maps so that they do not remove geometric cues from the stereo pair images. Third, another loss term borrowed from the baseline model is left-right consistency loss, which is an L1 difference between the secondary and the primary disparity maps. Finally, the auxiliary reconstruction loss term provides additional left-right left, left -right consistency by taking L1 difference between the auxiliary maps images and the respective corrected images. Our depth estimation CNN is vastly based on DispNet architecture, adding larger convolution kernels in the beginning to enlarge receptive field and correction map generation in the ending part. We generate four-level pyramid for output inverse depth maps and two-level pyramid for the correction maps. As to our camera est parameters estimation CNN, uh, it's relatively shallow CNN taken as input a concatenation of small subsets of high-level feature maps and outputting two scalar parameters, gain and bias. To train our model, we use two datasets. Hybrid city driving dataset, combining well-known cityscapes and kitty datasets, which we call CS plus K, and stereo movies dataset, which we call SM, composed of high-quality commercial stereo movies. For the model trained on CS plus K dataset, uh, the results of depth estimation accuracy, as well as the comparison with the previous methods, are presented in this table. Following the previous works, we use several depth estimation accuracy metrics. We divided the table into two parts, unsupervised and supervised methods, and sorted each part according to the RMSC error metric. From this table, uh, we can see that our method achieves the state-of-the-art depth estimation accuracy across most of the metrics using unsup among unsupervised methods, while being one of the least complex in terms of inference model weights number. Even when compared to the supervised results, our methods outperform some methods uh, while being such uh, much less complex than the supervised methods having better accuracy. Note that the variant of our method without correction maps achieves very close performance, which implies that most of the improvement in qual quantitative results comes from the other contributions. As to the model trained on SM dataset, we use depth in the wild dataset containing very diverse set of sceneries annotated with the relative depth labels, 
and weighted human disagreement rate as depth estimation accuracy metric. Again, our method outperforms previous unsupervised methods and even some of the supervised methods. To verify the efficiency of our contribution, contributions in achieving robustness to training dataset diversity, we performed additional set of experiments. We trained our model separately on Kitty and Cityscapes datasets, and then fine-tuned on Kitty the model pre-trained on Cityscapes. The results were compared to our baseline model trained on the same datasets. From this table, one can see that the baseline method, when trained on hybrid CS plus K dataset, drastically deteriorates its performance, which is not the case for our method. Note that the baseline model failed to converge on the same dataset at all. We hypothesize that the reason for that is that stereo pairs from different uh, movies have different stereo baseline and varying focus lengths making prediction of display disparity maps from the left view suitable for reconstructing the right view infeasible. On this scatter plot, we can see the distribution of gain and bias parameters output by our camera parameters estimation CNN for CS plus K dataset. The clear separation of the clouds for cityscapes and kitty datasets reflects the fact that those datasets were collected using different stereo rigs thereby confirming the utility of our camera parameters estimation CNN. Now some qualitative comparison of our model with the baseline model. We can see that the depth maps output by our model are more correct than that of the baseline model. Also, we can see that the correction maps are not zero in various problematic areas – occlusions, reflection from non lambertian surfaces, complex objects like bushes, and so on which supports our intuition when introducing correction maps. Another interesting comparison is done for uncontrolled street views completely unrelated to the training datasets. Here we also see that our model outputs much better depth maps. To qualitatively verify the performance of our model trained on SM dataset, we collected several uncontrolled people images from Flickr. Here we also see reasonable depth maps output by our model. Even though uh, the pictures differ very much from the trained uh, training dataset in terms of quality and so on. Finally, to conclude this presentation, I must enumerate our main points. We achieved a state of the art accuracy among unsupervised monocular depth estimation methods. This was made possible due to robustness to dataset diversity and variability, which allows efficient training on hybrid datasets combining data from different stereo rigs. We have the smallest CNN size, model size among high accuracy methods, while relaxed requirements for training data allow for easy and routine gathering of large and representative datasets. That's all for this uh, presentation. Thank you all.